It's Kyle here, and today I thought I'd talk about five of my favorite shows ever on the Sci-Fi channel. Sci-Fi has some truly great original TV shows that have become some of my favorite ones of all time. Some are still on, some have been canceled and went off the air. But I thought I'd give you a quick top five list of my favorite shows from Sci-Fi. So, starting at number five, that would be Stargate Universe. Um, it's one of the many spin-offs of the original Stargate SG-1. Great show. Was it quite as good as the original Stargate? Cause I think it kind of abandoned some of the central mythology that made that first one so great. It didn't quite have as much humor in it. And um, some people seem to think, and I kind of agreed somewhat, that it was kind of like the Stargate version of Battlestar Galactica. Now, I still thought it was a very good show. I just didn't think it quite was a great show. Now, one thing I will say, I thought as the show went on, it was getting better and better. Like, it's, it was beginning to find its own voice and start to become more unique right when Sci-Fi canceled it. Um, so I would risk Sci-Fi to let it go for another season because I think it was on the verge of becoming a great show, but didn't quite make it. Um, number four would be Eureka. Eureka is a great show, very quirky, very funny, doesn't take itself too serious, um, very action-packed. Um, the great thing about Eureka is, um, for the most part, most of the storylines are very much standalone episodes, so you don't have to worry about if you miss an episode being far behind on the storyline or something. Um, they're all very fun. Pretty much any time you watch the episode of Eureka, you can always count on it being just a fun, entertaining hour. So I'd say Eureka is a really, really good show. I really enjoy it a lot. It's still on air, so I encourage you to check it out. Um, number three is another show that's also on Sci-Fi still, and it's actually on the same night as Eureka, Warehouse 13. Warehouse 13 is great, 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 great show. In fact, at the moment, it might be my favorite show on TV, partly because it's a lot like Stargate Universe, which I mentioned earlier. It's getting better as it goes on. On the first couple seasons of Warehouse 13 were great. This current season that's on is absolutely awesome. It's one of those that feels like with every episode it's getting better and better. The thing I really enjoy about Warehouse 13 is it's a very serious serious show. It's not too corny, but at the same time they work in some humor to kind of lighten the mood every once in a while. Um, sometimes when shows are trying to be serious, but at the same time they're trying to work some humor in, it almost becomes too corny and you can't really take the show seriously, but Warehouse 13 walks that line perfectly, and like I said, it's getting better and better. Warehouse 13 has also been great about making you really care about the characters. And also they do a good job of making the episodes stand alone, but at the same time there's enough of a show each week that kind of builds upon it, so each show kind of adds to the next one. It's really adding um, and building a great mythology behind the show. Plus, since I'm a history buff, I really love the historical aspects they discuss in the show. Um, very entertaining, love it. Check out Warehouse 13. Now, the top two shows on my list are no longer there, so I'd encourage you to go and get them on DVD. Um, number two is a show that originally did start on Sci Fi, started on another cable network, but eventually it made its way to Sci Fi, and that's Stargate SG 1. First off, I'll say I love the original Stargate movie. When Stargate SG 1 first came on TV, I was able to watch it because it was on a cable sh channel that I did not get. So. I, I did not get to watch Stargate until it had already been on the air for a few years. And then I had to go back and rewatch all the previous seasons, and I quickly fell in love with it. Um, Stargate SG-1, the characters were great. The actors played off each other so great. They had such great chemistry. The original cast was just awesome. Um, the mythology that they built up for the Stargate universe in the TV show was amazing. They just kept on building upon it every year. And it really began to feel like almost the Star Wars or the Star Trek mythologies, which I've got built up over the time through movies and books and TV shows in the case of Star Trek. SG-1 was doing that same thing for Stargate, and it was such a great show. It went on for such a great time, and it spun off two shows. Um, of course, um, Stargate Universe, which I mentioned earlier, and Stargate Atlantis, which was a pretty good show in its own right. I really miss Stargate SG-1. I still enjoy watching the reruns. Uh, I hated when it went off the air, and it'd be one of those things. I hope they'll do another Stargate TV series again in the future, another spinoff, just because I love Stargate SG-1 so much. It's a great show. Number one on the list, 
Battlestar Galactica. I always have a hard time picking my favorite show of all time. If I was probably drama wise, Battlestar Galactica would probably be it. It's just as close to a perfect drama I have ever seen on TV, um, which is great because so many times sci fi is just. Critics just don't take it seriously. They always, you know, uh, you know, there's it's just all special effects. The acting's not good. The writing's not good. Battlestar Galactica was top notch, top notch acting, top notch writing, great direction, um, some of the most amazing, mind blowing storylines I'd ever seen on TV. One of the most awesome parts of Battlestar Galactica is you can never predict where the show is going. I mean, you you thought you were getting a handle on where it was going and you were going to be able to guess where it was going next and right then when they sucker punched you and completely changed your view of the show um, they completely took it in different directions and they would do that all the time every time you thought you were getting a handle on the storyline and be able to predict where they were leading the show to they changed it and the truly amazing part of that Battlegrounds Galactica pretty early on they announced the show wasn't going to go on for that long it was just going to be a few seasons so you knew it was working toward end point you knew they had something in mind so you could kind of work out your mind All right, they're going to probably end up here this is how they'll get there but they still were able to surprise you it was just amazing the acting was amazing it's one of those things that I thought I really wish it could have kept on going on but it was, it was so close to being perfect maybe it was better it, it went off the air before the show began to lose steam, which sometimes shows do when they stay on the air a long time. My only complaint about Battlestar Galactica was the last episode. I was not a fan exactly how they ended it. I thought that was just a little, I don't know, it got a little corny to me at the end. Lost a little steam in the last episode. Uh, but I think it was mainly because they wanted to wrap up as much of the loose ends as possible and give people some closure. But I, I wasn't completely sold on the last episode. But other than that, Battlestar Galactica is probably my most favorite drama on TV of all time, and definitely my most favorite sci-fi show of all time. So I'd encourage you to check all these shows out. If there's a sci-fi show you really enjoyed that I didn't mention, mention it in the comments. Um, some, there's some I've seen that I didn't mention on this list, some, some other ones I weren't too big fans of, and there might be a previous old show that I never saw that I'll, maybe I'll go check out on DVD because you recommend it. Um, I didn't really get into much describing the plots of these various shows. Um, I'll leave that up to you to discover on your own. The video would have been way too long if I described all the plots and why I liked them. But I just thought this was a topic I've always felt passionate about, especially at the moment with Eureka and Warehouse 13 currently being on. So I'm watching sci-fi a lot for those two shows that are on now, and it just kind of got me reminiscing about some of my favorite old shows that used to be on sci-fi. So the next time you're bored and you're looking for something great to watch on sci-fi, sorry, watch on TV, turn over to sci-fi, Maybe there'll be a great TV show on. Otherwise, it's probably one of those dumb ghost hunting shows that they have all the time. They're so dumb, I can't stand it. I wish they would just do the original TV shows and drop all those ghost shows, but that's a little different rant on sci-fi. So, hope you enjoy the video, and I hope you'll check out a sci-fi TV, ser TV series.